from Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Thursday, March 27th, the two sides of wind power debate on WDEL. Another Republican says no thanks to a run for governor. A former state trooper wonders why he was fired. Here are the details. WDEL listeners got an exclusive chance yesterday to hear directly from the two parties involved in the debate over construction of an offshore wind farm. WDEL's Carl Konefsky with the story. Jim Lennard, Director of Strategic Planning and Communications for Blue Water Wind, and Gary Stockbridge, President of Delmarva Power, faced off on the Rick and Brian Show Wednesday afternoon. At stake, the public's perception of a 25-year contract for power from a proposed offshore wind farm. Lennard says it's the way to go. This project will create jobs, four to 500 jobs um, for the construction period, 80 to 100 jobs during operation and maintenance. It will be uh, reliable uh, power for the state. Stockbridge uh, says maybe it'll be right in the future, but not now. We do believe there's a need to find a way to make offshore wind work into the future, and we're committed to working with the parties to try to find a better way to do it than forcing it on our small group of customers that is currently forced on. As the legislature looks for alternative energy ideas, Lennart accused Delmarva of dragging its feet in its quest for agreements for onshore wind, something Stockbridge takes exception to. Your mission here is to set out what looks like a reasonable process to get past the legislative session before Russ Larson, the controller general, is given a directive to support the Blue Water Project or not, so that you can win by default. To accuse us of dragging our feet, uh, I don't think makes a whole lot of sense when we've actually, since the Blue Water Wind uh, Project was tabled, have moved as quick as we can. That project, a 150 turbine wind farm off the coast of Rehoboth Beach, failed to win approval at a meeting of the Public Service Commission late last year. I'm Carl Konefsky, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. County police say an elderly Stanton area couple who've been missing since Tuesday have been found disoriented but otherwise in good health. Police say 80 year old Walter and 82 year old Grace Jennis were found at Pennsylvania's Elkins Park Hospital last night. A nurse called police who called the couple's family in Delaware. Mr. and Mrs. Jennis suffer from Alzheimer's disease. And before they were found, police say their credit card was used in Virginia to buy gas Tuesday night. The couple disappeared last year and were found after they were involved in a minor traffic crash in North Jersey. A local attorney wonders if the Delaware State Police is endorsing terrorism. WDEL's Carl Konefsky reports. Former state trooper Lieutenant Colonel Keith Janowski says he encountered harassment, discrimination, and retaliation because of his duties as a member of the Army Reserves. Janowski's attorney, Tom Newberger, says in addition to the soldiers' other hassles, Janowski was fired after returning from a year-long tour overseas. I question the patriotism of the leadership of the Delaware State Police. Anything that undercuts our fighting men and women is aiding and abetting our enemies. Newberger says federal law protects citizen soldiers from retaliation by employers affected by military service. The state police is looking the other way at the harassment, ridicule, and humiliation of our citizen shoulder, soldiers. The Delaware State Police leadership and Secretary Mitchell should be ashamed of themselves and should resign. Janowski filed suit in Kent County Superior Court. State police say they can't comment on pending litigation. Reporting from Wilmington, I'm Carl Konefsky, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. An arrest in a hit-and-run accident which injured two paramedics. WDEL News continues in a moment. The best place to buy your new floor is at your local Carpet One store, where we offer true flooring expertise, from a great selection of famous name floors to guaranteed installation. That's something you won't find at those big warehouses, internet sites, or traveling carpet shops. And with our 1,000 store buying power, we offer you the best warranties and the best values in flooring. Carpet One, the one store for your perfect floor. You're the one, you're the one. Another prominent Republican is deciding against a run for governor. State Representative Donna Stone has informed the state GOP that she will not be a candidate. Stone has represented her Dover area district in the General Assembly since 1994. Party Chairman Terry Strine says the party has no other potential candidates other than the two men already running. Mike Protak and Dave Graham both lost the 2004 nomination to retired Judge Bill Lee, who has also decided against a run 
this year. County police believe they found the car and driver involved in last Saturday's hit-and-run crash with a paramedic unit. Police say an anonymous tip led them to DeRoss Heights in the Newcastle area, where they found a Dodge Magnum with damage consistent with the crash last Saturday morning on West Commons Boulevard. Two paramedics were slightly hurt in that accident, and the Magnum took off after the crash. Police say criminal and traffic charges are pending against the driver, Gary Hoey. Capitol Police have charged a Kent County woman with harassing and threatening state employees by phone. Police say Corinne Biggins of Camden made the offending calls to the Division of Child Support. She was arrested yesterday and released after pleading guilty at J.P. Court 7. Sixers run with the Bulls. WDEL Sports and your Delaware Back you with a forecast coming up. Wilmington University now offers the Doctor of Business Administration program. This advanced degree is designed to enhance leadership and managerial skills. Applications for fall semester are being accepted now, so visit us at wilmu.edu slash business or call 877-967-5464. Wilmington University, your life, your time, your education. In WDEL Sports, the 76ers routed the Bulls last night in Philadelphia. Lou Williams led the Sixers with 23 points. Andre Iguodala chipped in with 21. Thaddeus Young added 20. And Andre Miller had a season-high 18 assists. It's the 19th win for the Sixers in their last 24 games. Ursuline's Elena Deladon scored 10 points and grabbed 11 rebounds, but her East team lost to the West in the McDonald's Girls All-American game in Milwaukee last night. She was the only player to record a double-double. And Brett Myers for the Phillies continued his great spring, blanking the Yankees yesterday. WDEL's Don Volts has more from spring training. If there's been one consistent pitcher on the Philly staff this spring, it's Brett Myers. On Wednesday, Myers pitched five scoreless innings in a 4-0 win over the Yankees in Clearwater, raising his spring record to 3-0 and dropping his earned run average to 1.13. Myers, who will be the opening day starter next Monday against Washington, was happy with his outing, especially his curveball. Yeah, curveball felt better today. Um, I think I found my release point for the most part, but, uh, um, you know, that's the main thing I've been struggling with, so I felt like it was pretty good today. So, um, you know, a couple more side sessions, it should be, you know, right there where I want it. In recent years, manager Charlie Manuel has stressed the importance of getting off to a good start. This year, Manuel seems to be focusing more on recapturing how the team played in the second half of 2007. We're going to go play every day like we're going to play the first game, and uh, we're going to play that just like we did last uh, from the middle of the season on last year. We face it the day we play, and we play to win today. And if something happens and we don't, we come out tomorrow with the same mindset. We're going to win that game. And if we do that, I think we'll stay focused on what we're doing, and, and the effort definitely will be there, and uh, things will work out for us. So it's goodbye to Clearwater. One more game in Lakeland on Thursday, then north to Philadelphia, where the Phillies and their fans are hoping for, at the very least, a successful defense of their division title and some success in the playoffs. In Clearwater, Don Volts, WDEL Sports. Your WDEL Delaware Acura with a forecast cloudy today, some occasional rain, high 54. Some rain or drizzle tonight with a low down to 42. And more rain tomorrow, high 50. The weekend starts with clouds giving way to sunshine, Saturday's high 46. Get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 1150 AM. And get WDEL News text alerts sent to your cell phone. Sign up here at WDEL.com. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.